Hello, hello, and welcome to Career Talk Tuesday, where we talk all things career. And I know you can't see my colleagues, but they are here in the room today. Hey! <laughs> my name is Crystal Arthur. I'm your career coach. We have Angela Davis Woods, who is here in the room with us. She is a career planning specialist. <laughs> and we have Mary Faye Magdalena, who is a career planning specialist, and she's in the room with us today. And you know that uh, first year advising and career development, career services is on the move. So we are out today at 3915 Portland Street in Irving, Texas at Center for Neural Skills. <laughs> and Woo! we have the pleasure today of speaking to Miss Valerie Armstrong, who is the HR representative here at uh, Center for Neural Skills. And so today she has volunteered to share with us the career paths for individuals in the health sciences field. Hello, Ms. Armstrong. Hello, thanks for having me. Sure, and thanks for coming on to meet with us today. So you wanted to tell us a little bit about, tell us a little bit about what Center for Neuroskills okay. does. Okay, first of all, I'm, in case HR is listening, I'm not the HR specialist, I'm training and development. Oh, yeah. Just wanna get that straight there. <laughs> Don't wanna get in trouble, my first podcast. <laughs> Um, first of all, if you're thinking about a career in healthcare, you are in time, on time, and in purpose in this universe. This is exactly where it's at. The Center for Neuroskills is a brain injury rehabilitation facility right down the street from uh, your college campus. We have a, a clinic which is at um, uh, 1320 Walnut Hill, and then the residential program is here in Portland. And we have staff in both locations. If you go to our clinic, we have licensed professional therapists, your speech therapist, occupational physical therapist, educational therapist, counselors, and nursing staff, as well as ancillary staff there, the people that do marketing, community relations, evaluations, admissions, uh, and then you've got your clerical work. And so we have all that to support our patients with brain injuries. But out here in the residential program, we have created the most normalized environment. If you were to drive down the street, you would think this was just a nice apartment complex. That's the way we want it to look. And we are looking for, always looking for a few good people. And what we want to talk to you about today is that in any career you go into, you've got to start somewhere. And uh, we, there's a career trajectory that Ms. Barthard has been talking about and the folks at North Lakes have been talking about that you don't, as, as much as I would, you know, still hope that one day I'll be a rocket scientist, which is not going to happen, you know, you, you have to start somewhere. And every place you're at, you build on and you build on and you build on. And the goal is, is that you can learn as much as you can from wherever you're at. You establish a really good working relationship with your supervisors and your peers. And you, when you go to that next step, you can say, you know what? I did a good job with the tools I had to work with. So here, we hire people that we call them neurorehabilitation specialists. And they can be CNAs. They can be people that are going to school in psychology, applied behavior analysis, nursing. We have a lot of people that are going through nursing school that come here. And some folks are just folks that say, I don't know what I want to do, but I know I want to help people, and this is a good place to start. And so we start off here with neuro rehab specialists. We give two weeks of paid training, and then we have you work with our precious, precious patients that have brain injury. Now, was this your background? Did you did you do? Well, I want start off. I wanted to be an actress, and my parents said we're not going to pay for a waitress. Okay. So I went into psychology because that's what everyone goes into, you know, first. And uh, and my parents were psychologists, and then I got my master's degree in uh, rehabilitation counseling. And I enjoy the counseling aspects um, of, I went on to become a licensed professional counselor as well as a certified rehab counselor. And interestingly enough, I wound up here and I thought, why am I here? And it all came together. I had a brain injury when I was 10. Oh, wow. And okay. so it's been, that's why I've been here so many, many years. It's, it's become my mission. Okay, so as a student at North Lake College, I could come in as a neuro... We call them NRSs for short, because that's just okay. too long. 
Okay. <laughs> you can come on board as an NRS. Um, you can be promoted to supervisor. Okay. If you are really good at writing and communicating, um, and if you can get um, an AA associate's degree at least, um, we'll consider you for a residential treatment programmer where you write the programs that our staff follows. Uh, you just met earlier one of our staff who wants to go to North Lakes, yes. and she started off as an NRS, became a supervisor, went into our transportation department, and now is over uh, all of our durable medical equipment. Uh, we've had other um, graduates go into our admissions department. Some have uh, decided to become the receptionist. We have uh, receptionists in both locations that have been NRSs, and we even have folks that have become clinic aides and clinic assistants, and they work alongside the therapists. Okay. Working with, with the individuals who work here, because I, I know looking at the brain and thinking about injuries, um, if, if you had to answer, I guess, what is the most challenging part of this job? Mm -hmm. An NRS, mm -hmm. or for an NRS. Yep, I can answer that right now. Okay. Um, it's the most challenging thing is that information in healthcare changes on a dime. Okay. Um, things. This is a rapidly, rapidly changing environment. You might have this piece of information at ten o'clock, and at ten o five, it's different. So, for example, mm. you have a medical appointment that automatically appeared. Oh, we've got to get this patient to the medical appointment. So we need an NRS, we need to give them the uh, medical report, show them where they need to be, get transportation out, get them to the doctor's office with the patient, or likewise, the medical appointment may be canceled. You may have somebody who um, just had a medication change and they're going through a lot of um, uh, physiological changes because of that and behavioral problems because of that. You may have uh, patients that are discharged on a dime or new admits on a dime. Um, so it's a really rapidly changing environment and you're going to find that wherever you go in healthcare. Okay. And that's where we really look for people that, you know, at the end of the day can shake it off you know, laugh it off, love their families, you know, be happy and healthy and come back and start again tomorrow. So did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> because when I think about my personality, I like things consistent. Oh, you Never forget me. that. <laughs> <laughs> forget that. So, and, and, and when we do career advising with our students, we do do um, their interests good. and we do do their personality. So, oh, that's good. Yes. So, finding this out, that the person needs to be ready for constant change and be okay with that yeah. and be, yes, adaptable <laughs> and be yeah. able to change in that. So, that's good for you all to hear, if you're consider, especially if you're considering neuroscience. Health science. Yes. 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 So, um, okay. Well, okay. Well, yes. Um, Ms. Valerie, we appreciate you talking to us about this, and I hope that the North Lake College students will tune in and find out information because we are hosting a health science yes. event tomorrow. Um, the health sciences event is called Guided Pathway to Success Expo. Um, and we're going to be featuring health sciences, so careers in health sciences. That will be tomorrow, November 6th um, at 12.30, from 12.30 to 2.30 in our Student Life Center. It is in our H building, H200. Um, we will have colleges and universities there to talk about their health sciences programs. We will be having uh, Ms. Valerie Armstrong there. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, employment opportunities here at Center for Neuro Skills. Uh, we will have additional employers and additional colleges and universities. We will also have pathway advisors there to talk to you. And we will also have health science, our health science club, and our serving service learning. So we will have many, many sources of information for you, and we hope that you will join us. Um, Eventbrite has a registration process where you can go online uh, for the Guided Pathways to Success Expo, and then you can get tickets to come out and join us. So we encourage you to come out and join us tomorrow. That is November 6th, Wednesday, November 6th, from 1230 to 230 at North Lake College's Central Campus and the Student Life Center, H200. Well... 
I think I've given you, we've given you enough information for today. We would like to thank you for joining us for Career Talk Tuesday, where we talk all things career. career. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>